Did yeah. you grow up religious at all, Queb? Uh, no, not at all. So um, I, I kind of like I've, lucky uh, you. A, a lot no of my friends. No, a lot of my friends are, are religious. So I've had like discussions with my Christian friend. He goes, uh, he went, yeah, you need to, you need to pray. You need to pray. I was like, oh, I don't really believe in this. He said, no, come to church with me. So I said, okay, I'll do it for a week and see if anything special happens in my life. If it doesn't, then I'll go back. So I prayed for a week. I went to church with the kid, and or, or I didn't really go to church, but I was like, "Fuck this shit." Let me say what <laughs> I like about church. it's not so, it's not so, my thing. I, I have to <laughs> please respect that. I've had some positive experiences in church for sure. Like like I tell you what, like like I've I've went with girlfriends to to their church, and what I really always liked the most is when the preacher is preaching about um, things that matter in our day to day lives. Like like he'll tell you a Bible story. And then he'll break it down. Like this is how this applies to today. This is applies. This is how it applies to when you burn dinner. This is how it applies to when you let your parents down, or, or whatever it may be. And then the music. I always liked singing. I liked when like the whole congregation is singing, and like, those songs are always really something about singing with a group. It, it makes you feel good. Like like it doesn't matter what. It, I, I suppose even to those people who are like walking down the street chanting "Blood and Soil," I bet that feels. In, in a way similar like there's something about all of us not just agreeing but voicing our agreement simultaneously at the top of our lungs and it making music is a really good feeling it feels good to sing with every lord i lift your name on high and everybody's singing together and the, the band's playing it's it's nice i like that I, that that's those are the only things i ever took as positives from my church experiences was was the singing and uh, whenever a bible story would be broken down into what into things that you could apply to your day-to-day -day life and become a better person from that did you know what i remember from bible camp when i was growing up when i was young is the they rate. would have those <laughs> they would have it wasn't catholic camp uh, ah. there were there were a lot of things like what you were describing where like because it was like a five day seven day long like camp and for the first like four days First of all, they hammered you over the head with Bible shit the whole time. They'd be like, all right, you got it in the morning. We do a sing song in a, in a speech. And then in the afternoon we do a, a sermon. And it was always like building you up, building you up for the first few days. Like you're here because you care about the Lord and, and shit like that. Like really, really amping you up. And then the last two days they would drop the hammer and, and give that thing of like, I bet a lot of you out there tonight – aren't the same person you pretend to be when you're here. You're not the kind of Christian you want people to, to think you are, are you? And they'll like look accusatory, like, give you an accusatory look and you'll have to look back like, well, I'm fucking 10. Like, settle down. Like, I, I, I was playing Frisbee six minutes ago and now I'm being berated. So, like, I, <laughs> it's hard to get used to. But that's, like, at the time, because I was young, by the end of all those sermons, I would feel like shit. I would feel so guilty and so awful and so like, oh, I really am a bad person. I'm going to mm -hmm. go to hell. I, I went to a counselor when I was like 11 years old because I was so fucking scared that me and the people I loved were going to go to hell because I was a kid and I bought into it. And I, I'd had people telling me my whole life at school and at church that I was going to go to hell if I wasn't a Christian, and that people I know were going to go to hell too. And so I'd spend like nights awake as a kid like, oh, my God, like my fucking grandparents – what if they go to hell? I'm not going to see them in heaven. Like, oh, all my friends. How do I know? Like, they're they're for real Christians. And so when I went to like uh, a counselor, and it was a Christian counselor, which is probably the worst possible maneuver, because if I went to a real counselor, they would have been like, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, this isn't real, and you probably you should probably distance mm -hmm. yourself from these people because it's very much you know psychologically damaging to to yeah, you yeah. as a child. No, he was like, well. It is important to know that hell is a real place and a real threat. And it was like, oh, <laughs> oh, well, then nothing's been solved. Like, then there's no, like, it was like, yeah, the doubling down of it. Exactly, Chiss. Damn. Like that, that, it is so not fucking healthy as a kid to be obsessing day in and day out. And of course, most kids don't do that. It's just because I'm kind of, uh, I, I kind of leaned towards catastrophizing things that I didn't actually happen as a kid. But that, like, there are other kids out there like that that are that worried over nonsense. And it's like that's pretty fucked. If I'm if I'm not incorrect, the Jews do not believe in hell. They do not. No. Mm. That's a that's pretty nice, eh? Yeah. I mean, but but I couldn't have been Jewish because I'm not Jewish. Well, I'm not suggesting that you you know switch. Swap. I'm just saying that's one of the definitely a plus for the for if if you're Jewish, you know, like, like what what's the mm -hmm. worst that could happen? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd right. all be in hell if it wasn't for my son David. <laughs> <laughs> what does happen to bad Jews? Purgatory? No, that's a. Uh, uh, it used to be well, depending on what branch of Catholicism you believe in. Purgatory mm-hmm. still is or isn't a thing. The, the church doesn't endorse purgatory anymore, I don't believe. They got rid of that. Um, but I had family members growing up who still believed in purgatory, who were Catholic on, on that side of the family. And that's way more comforting than hell. Because you know, there's a purgatory was basically to determine how like, long you spend there. Yeah, there is. And, uh, and the way they used to do it is back in the day with the Catholic church, it was like, oh, your, your husband... I'm so sorry. He's going to spend uh, 4,000 years in purgatory. And if you were to die, you'd only spend 100 years there because you've been a good Christian. If, you know what? Yeah. If you paid you know, 60 gold dragons or whatever it was, we could get that down to two years easy. Have you guys you know, so going out stags. at the same time? It's yeah, like, they like multiply your mortal sins by a number and then whatever the other kind of sin is by a number. And then you add it all together, and that's how long you spend in purgatory. Polly Walnuts taught me that. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah, it how is. to calculate purgatory? Yeah, outrageous. Ah, that's that's but, that sucks, man. Thousands of years. Yeah, but I can like hardly Paulie take said, three months like... with this broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compared to all eternity, though, you do that on your head. No big deal. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'd rather not. I, I mean, I can't choose. imagine that purgatory is a very fun place. And you know, supernatural 